Osio. Osege in the chemistry lab. What are you doing here, Osege? He asked with a twinkle in his eye. Hello. My name is Osege Edison Edebo. A.K.A. Fire of the 84 set. Wait, wait a minute. Before we continue, it is important to tell you that back in the days, the word fire wasn't just any word. No sir. It wasn't. This is the storyteller by the way. And I tell you now that if you didn't know Senior Osege, well, let's just say you missed out on the hottest fire in town. Now, before you jump to conclusions about this fire, let me assure you, it's not your typical blaze. So no extinguishers needed. It's a charisma inferno that lights up any room. A sizzling spark that turns every room into a stage and every conversation into a blockbuster performance. I chuckle as memories of his jokes during night prep come to mind. A very unforgettable and kind senior. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to his heartwarming story about poor Omotadi, shall we? Um. Like I said. My name is Osige Edison Edebo. A.K.A. Fire of the 1984 set. Have a seat as I share one of my many fond memories of the man who became more than a principal to me. The man I shared my birthday with. Hmm. <clears throat> How do you introduce and talk about Papa? He has names, of course, but. I call him Oga. I call him Pa Omotede. I call him principal. I call him teacher. I call him mentor. But to mention his names. Dista Afolabi. Dista Michael. Ha <laughs> ha. Those never even crossed my mind or mouth. Never stuck with me at all. For me. As his birthday meet. It's an honor to have shared a special day with him for many reasons. I lost my dad while I was in school, and Papa stepped in. I had nobody else but him. I mean, he met my dad a couple of times because my dad worked at the NTA or Korea at that time. Pa Omotadi I think made sure to know the parents of his students, as well as knowing all the students by name. A very commendable act. My dad, while spending time with me during the school's visiting day, would make sure to see Oga in his office too. I'm happy that they met and knew each other. After my father passed, the principal took me under his wings. It was a father is dead but father still lives on, situation for me. I had someone who filled the role of a father figure in my life. Even before my father passed away, he consistently displayed that nurturing attitude towards every student, anyway. Our bond however became stronger after my dad's passing. As he became the person I could turn to with any problems or concerns. His empathetic nature truly made a difference. We had a rapport. A great relationship, although I didn't know we were birthday mates then. He also saw me as a comedian. A stand-up comic, because he would always say Osege is just too funny. When it was time to crack jokes, he would always remind everyone that my jokes were original and call for me to tell the best jokes. There is an incident I will never forget. Well, I knew I could make people laugh. I just didn't realize how much. Until the day he saw me in the science lab. The chemistry lab. To say that he was surprised, is an understatement. He wondered why laughing what I was doing there because he thought I was there playing one of my pranks. A comic in the chemistry lab. Go figure. Utio. Osege in the chemistry lab. What are you doing here, Osege? He asked while laughing and with a twinkle in his eye. We both had a good laugh after I told him I was actually interested in the subject and indeed the sciences. I graduated as a science student because he believed in me. And never discouraged me after that conversation we had. I never encountered any form of harshness from him. Not once. He was and will remain a very special man to me. I am glad that we were able to organize a birthday celebration which several of us attended in person and virtually for such a great man who has left an indelible mark on so many of our hearts.
it is indeed important to celebrate and appreciate people when they are alive. And I remain grateful that we did. May Papa Omotade's soul rest in peace. Amen. Osige Edison Edebo. The African Tales Stories and Fables Blue Papa Story. No bloopers. How could there have been? It's truly an honor to have shared a few stories celebrating our iconic Pa Omo today. We greet the dear principal. Here's wishing you a joyful and prosperous 2024, dear cheerleaders. African Tales, Stories and Fables By African Girl Kindly like, subscribe, leave your thoughts, click on the notification bell and share our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next story.